This conference will now be recorded. And Carol, are you able to say the prayer for us tonight? Okay. Leo Karina, you're up. Can we start with a word of prayer from you? Thank you, Good Leo evening, Leos and Lions. Will we bow our heads? Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you that we are able to be here for this session. We thank you for giving us the strength and blessing us with health. I pray that we are all in good health. Lord, we pray that you may bless this session, and I pray especially for the presenter. And I pray that we may get the necessary knowledge that will aid us in our club's activities as we begin this new year. In your name I pray, amen. Thank you, Leo Carina. It is my pleasure to welcome you to this training session being coordinated by the Global Leadership Team for Regions 2 and 3. The training is about sharing the information and tips with club officers, so they can do effective roles. Our well-trained club officers are equipped to enhance club quality and ultimately service to our communities. These abilities contribute to achievement of our club mission. Our second workshop this evening will be done by Lion Sandra Payne. Lion Sandra Payne is a member of the GLT team and associate coordinator for Region 3. She's a past president and member of the Lions Club Central Barbados. She is shy, just shy of a decade being in the movement. She has held several positions in her club and has been Lion of Year on several occasions, Lion of the Year on several occasions. Much of her career has been spent in a public service. Currently, she serves as Director of Research and Development for the National Investment Promotion Agency in Barbados. Please join me in welcoming our presenter, Lion Sandra Payne. Thank you very much, Lion Wendy. Hello. Lions and Leos, it's my pleasure to share with you um, some information on the role of Tamer this evening. And I trust that the presentation would help us all to be clearer on the role of Tamer and as well help those who are coming in as Tamer to feel more confident in discharging that role and to assist us all in having a successful year. So as I outline, give an outline of the presentation, um, I've just stated the workshop objectives. I'll speak a little bit about the role of the tamer, some of the essential functions that the tamer perform. Um, we'll talk a bit about meeting because much of what the tamer does uh, revolves around um, what happens at the meeting. Um, we'll talk a little bit about the advent of, of COVID-19 and how that has changed things and will change things. Um, we'll do a little exercise planning your first um, event as a tamer. Then we'll summarize and if there are any questions, we'll take the questions at the end. And so we, our first session, we, we looked a bit at the role of the president 
and the vice president. And I thought that it would be good to follow on with how the, the tamer interacts with the president and the vice president, as well as other key members of the board of directors and the membership in general to, to, to ensure that the, the, the club um, achieves its objectives for the year and that the tamer himself, herself has um, a successful year. So again, um, congratulations for those of you who will be serving as tamer for the year coming. Um, as you would know, the, the office of, of tamer is typically elected for one year. The tamer reports to the president and the board of directors. The primary responsibility um, of the tamer is that of taking care of the club's prop property and paraphernalia. And, and paraphernalia as we normally refer to it in Lionism. Importantly too, the tamer is a part, is a member of the board and is responsible therefore for executing um, authorized policies of the club and is expected to play a very active role in board meetings. I must um, signal that the, the post um, is optional given the recent, when I say recent, within the last three years, changes um, implemented by Lions Club International. That notwithstanding that the post itself is optional within your club structure, uh, the, I think there is no doubt that the, the function of tamer, the function of being responsible and for your club's property um, is a very important one and is key to the success of um, your club's goals, your club's mission. As Tamer, I think you have a wonderful opportunity to ensure that in particular meetings are well run and that they are set and um, they set the tone for an organized um, forum where persons can interact with each other to advance, as I said, the, the, the goals and the mission of the, of the club. So one of the first things as we look um, at the club structure um, that each tamer should familiarize themselves with as the president um, and, and, and the board collectively decides on the, 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 the mission, the goals of the club for the year um, it is important that you understand what those what those missions what the, what those what the mission is and how your role in helping the president and the other members of the board um, achieve those goals. As I indicated, um, in the current club structure, the role of tamer is an optional role. Um, and though it is optional, the function is very important because it you interact pretty much with the with the president who presides um, at all meetings. You are you it, it calls for close interaction with your immediate um, immediate president, immediate past president, as that person has a role in greeting um, persons coming to meetings and with your marketing person as well as the officers in the global action team. Now, what are some of the essential functions? You, as Tamer, you must ensure the safekeeping of all club banners, of plaques, of awards, of whether they're uh, furniture, podiums, microphones, any miscellaneous items used um, generally in a Lions meeting or a Lions assembly, a Lions function. And we'll talk some more about those different kinds of meetings. Um, it is important that you ensure that the, the room is ready 
and prepared um, in advance of the meeting or of the function. It is also important that you assist the immediate past president as the with any official greeter responsibility. So as you can see um, from the very outset, communication, understanding the roles of the president and other officers will be important for your own success, as well as being able to effectively communicate with them um, to understand the goals of each meeting, um, the goals generally um, that will help to ensure your success. It makes your job a bit easier. Uh, the other two essential functions that I would highlight at this time, at the start of each fiscal year, so that um, we're right on time now, you should prepare a budget for approval by the board of directors for any items that you plan to acquire during the year. And it is always recommended that you do this in consultation with the outgoing tamer. Um, obviously, you have your own ideas, but the person who would have sat in the seat ahead of you um, may, should have some good pointers as to what items may be immediately required, some that may be um, important but not necessary at this time. So to have that dialogue um, with uh, the immediate, um, the outgoing tamer, and so build your list of things that you would need to acquire for your club during the, the current year. Also, you should um, conduct an inventory of, of the, the assets of the club um, along with the outgoing tamer um, and discuss this or present it at your first board meeting. So this is, this is one of the key things that you need to um, put on your checklist as you will be assuming the office of, of of Tamer. Some of the things you may wish to consider as you develop your budget would be, you know, is there adequate storage for all the items we have? Um, is there, a, a, are there enough club kit? Um, do we need raffles? If, if, if that is your, if that is the custom in your club, do you need any additional stationery? Um, do you have adequate gong, the gavel, flags, pins, membership vests, or other club supplies? Do you have a guest book? Um, those are some of the things that you may wish to consider as you um, prepare the checklist as well as, as you prepare your budget. So then we move on to what happens at meetings. One of, the, one of your first um, tasks would be to, first duties would be to ensure that the meeting room is prepared in advance of the meeting. Ensure that the flags, the gong, the gavel are, are properly placed and in particular, the, the, the flags, we will come to that a little bit later, um, but if it is the flag of the home country that, that the flag is placed to the right of the um, president, the gong and gavel are usually um, within easy access as well. Um, it is required that you display the standard club organization chart prominently. Um, that you are responsible for the conduct of the raffle. And I know that in some clubs, there may be different customs. Um, so even if you are interacting, for example, with the chair of the bar and social committee, um, one of the things that you may, you would need to be sure ahead of the meeting, do I have a, a raffle ready? What is the price of the raffle? Those basic uh, things are, are important in making sure the meeting runs um, smoothly. Then, of course, um, it, it has been a tradition of, of Lions to distribute. Sometimes they could be bulletins, sometimes it could be minutes, literature, what um, that may be required either at board meetings or at club meetings. So it is important that 
ahead of time, you have a sense of the normal, um, the expected attendance, uh, what you need to distribute, and that you have those items handy. At meetings, it will it is your responsibility to welcome and introduce guests and to ensure that appropriate seating is available or reserved for all attendees. Um, if there is going to be, for example, a guest speaker, um, because you liaise with the president ahead of time or the person who is um, responsible for organizing the committee chair who is responsible for our, the guest speaker um, and the, the guest speaker may be walk may be attending with other persons in the, there may be other persons in their entourage um, having those details ahead of time helps you to prepare um, appropriate seating you should ensure that all guests sign the the visitors book at meetings and in particular, where the guests are prospective members, ensure that you share this information with the membership chair or a member of the membership committee, preferably during the meeting, um, and if not, as soon as possible after the meeting. At the end of the meeting, you should return each item or you're responsible for returning each item to its storage area. And if there's a need for cleaning um, or rearranging the room, um, you should ensure that this is done as well. And as I speak, while this is your responsibility, um, it is always advisable that you, you know, interface with other lions and you have a team of persons who help you to discharge these functions. It doesn't mean that you are the sole one to do it, but you are responsible for having it done. And based on your club's customs, you may also be responsible for serving refreshments at, at certain meetings or organizing the, the refreshments and for encouraging both new and existing members to sit in diff with different members at each meeting. This is to encourage persons to get to know other members of, 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 the, of the club, um, get to um, get to have a different experience rather than to sit, you know, in the same place all the time. Um, as well, in terms of the arrangement of the room, you can use your creativity to rearrange, especially where the, the membership sits. Um, typically, we use the theater style, but sometimes we, rather than having a, just a linear layout, you might have a horseshoe layout. Um, it depends on, you know, what tone you wish to set for your meeting. So, we have a... A little exercise here. Now we were just talking about the format that the meeting may take. It can be the traditional format where there is a head table and there are members, uh, other members um, attending the meeting. Um, the meeting can be completely online. Um, the meeting can be a hybrid. It can be a mix of a, a fixed location where members gather as well as persons who are online dialing in and more and more you are seeing the trend toward um, online uh, meetings so as Tamer um, this is something that you need to give some thought to as you assist the president in, 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 in having an, an effective meeting um, so a, a, a traditional meeting may be in, in, within what we call the den. Um, it may be at a member of uh, a member's home. Um, sometimes this is done, if, particularly if the member, member may be ill and cannot come out to club. 
Uh, you may wish to have a, a full meeting there. Um, sometimes it may be a more social meeting that you're having and therefore a, 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 a meeting away from you, where you traditionally meet is, is beneficial. Um, sometimes it can be a, a dinner meeting, a full dinner meeting, and you just change the format up completely. It could be a charter function, um, could be a social gathering. There are times that, for example, at a zone meeting, if your club is, is hosting the meeting, you may be responsible for coordinating with other tamers, um, both Lions and Leos, um, to have the banners placed, et cetera, et cetera. Um, sometimes you, you may be in, involved in, in cabinet meetings, in convention meetings. Um, but in, in all things, it is important to understand the meeting, the goals of the meeting. Is it a meeting in which information is primarily going to be shared? Is it a meeting in which you want to encourage discussion? Is it a meeting where part of it will involve celebration, whether a celebration of a birthday, it might be an anniversary, um, uh, it might be a celebration of a success for the club, um, is it a meeting where some from time to time, as in all families, you, you need to build relationships? Um, there may be an issue and you want to, you, the best way to, to deal with it is, is within, the, within a meeting uh, format and, and, and move forward. Um, so understanding what the, the goal of the meeting is, is, is very important because it determines how you set the the room out, um, what decor you may um, choose to, to use, et cetera, et cetera. And also keep in mind the frequency of meetings. Are they monthly? Are they bi-monthly? Bi, bi um, so that you can start to plan and prioritize your time and also assist um, proactively your president as he or she um, plans um, and, and, and executes the meeting. So I'm just going to stop there for a minute and um, ask for your input. What kinds of meetings um, would your club typically have? Is it a traditional meeting? Is it an online meeting? Is it a hybrid meeting? Anybody? Uh, typically, it's uh, traditional, but since what has been happening around the world, we've transitioned to online. Um, good evening. Um, this is Lion Alphonse and Martin. Um, similar to similar to uh, my fellow Lion just now, we normally had traditional meetings and since um, COVID online. And we are planning for the upcoming year to have a um, hybrid type of meetings. Okay. Uh, anyone, um, how, how have you been finding um, the online meetings in terms of attendance, in terms of, um, you know, just the, 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 the difference between if you think of the role of the tamer and where the tamer normally sits to greet persons, um, where there is a physical meeting, um, any difference that you've experienced in your online meetings? Or is it still a, 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 work in, a work in progress? Persons are still getting accustomed to the online meetings. Uh, for St. Lucia, sorry, Andrea from St. Lucia, Beaufort, oh, okay. I find our attendance, I find our attendance is a lot more, um, I guess, because persons are in the comfort of their homes. And um, we get, um, I guess, and it's a lot more regular and it's on time. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, we, we, can, we can see in terms of the agenda that would be followed, the, the tamer still has a role even in the online meetings. Um, and so we should bear that in mind. Um, 
one of the important roles of the important functions to be discharged would be, you know, the greeting of guests and assisting in, in some cases, the secretary um, in, in noting the persons who are attending meetings. Okay, so let's look at, um, thanks for, for those observations. Let's look then at a few photos that I, I just um, randomly selected. And again, I invite your comment. We, we spoke about the position of the host flag. This is a meeting that was held, a, a photo of a meeting held in um, St. Lucia. We see the, the flag to the far right. We see the um, positioning of the both the lion and Leo banners. Um, any, anything else anyone would wish to point out? which would be important. Any other observations? The country flag, Land Sandra? Yes. There is a country flag on the on the table as well. And that's the country flag again to the right of the district governor at the time. All right, let's, let's look at uh, uh, another um, photo. And so this is uh, another um, meeting. Um, looks like it is in St. Martin in Region 2. And looks like it is happening in, in the den uh, there. And importantly, we can tell um, by the layout um, the chair of the meeting is looked like Lion Claudio. Um, we see the gong as well. Um, it, the, the one difference that I, I wanted to, to point out here in terms of the um, setup for this meeting would be that most of the lions here um, clearly are using their laptops and so on. And so this is another feature that the lion tamer as I, as I indicated, in terms of your preparation, um, how do you make the meeting effectively? This looks like it would, most of it is going to be a business meeting. And so you, the, the Timur, or in collaboration with the IT committee, would ensure that all the necessary cabling and, and um, perhaps Wi-Fi or dedicated internet service is available because this is important or the picture seems to portray that and making this meeting an effective one. Let's have a, a look at another one. And this one is in Barbados. It is a meeting with the Leos and anyone want to suggest any differences in, in this meeting in the in the layout okay everybody seems a little shy um so most of the other meetings that we we looked at thus far we saw that the the head table was was pretty much um a ba a, almost a, 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 a perhaps a barrier um per, perhaps uh the the uh position to, in between the the uh it separated the members, let me put it that way. We see the the use of the semicircle um, layout here with the Leos. It seems to be a, a session where we are pretty much engaging and exchanging ideas. And so this format typically lends for that kind of, of, of a meeting. Um, there is still an, an effective head table, as, as we can see. Um, there, there, you can see the chair of the meeting, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but it's just that we are closer to the audience. And, and so um, 
my my thinking here is that the objective is to ensure discussion and to, to ensure interaction and to that feeling of, of closeness. Let's look at another. A typical uh, Lions meeting. And one of the things that you will notice um, sometimes before meetings or after meetings, um, typically it's, it's a time to you know, engage, a time of fellowship and um, meetings, the layout of the room should allow for that. When you look around, you want to see persons who are happy, who are smiling because we are here to, to serve others in the community. And hopefully the, the same warmth of our smiles and so on um, that comes with our service would be shared with the persons whom we are helping, those in need. So it's important as Tamer to be observant. How are, you know, what are the expressions of members that either before or after or during sure. meetings? Let's have one other, a look at one other. And this is a meeting which was held um, during uh, sorry, an installation held during COVID-19. Um, you would see, you would notice the requirement for um, distance in here. Um, if it is clear enough, you would see lions dressed in, in, in with their mask on and, and, and so on. Um, and so this is a, a, a good segue as we look at the next um, segment of the presentation, which is the advent of COVID-19. What does it mean for us as, as lions? Um, for most um, of us in the Caribbean, we are still opening our economies again, our countries up. And so I believe most of us are, are still virtually meeting online. Um, some of us will, will be going back to um, a physical meeting place. Um, but when we do so, um, there are certain things that we have to, to bear in mind. Um, we have to ensure the physical distancing. Uh, and we know that COVID is not, um, it, it's here for um, for the long, longer term. Um, so we have to ensure physical distancing. Um, the hand sanitizers are, are going to be an important um, part of the arsenal of the tamer. Um, that, that is a must have at all um, future events. It's just advisable as well that you you know you you have a few disposable masks available, and I think one of the other uh, changes that we will have to be mindful of um, would be the handling of sometimes uh, leaflets and and other um, items that are some like songs etc cetera, etc cetera, that are sometimes shared. I think the advice is that we minimize um, the use and reuse um, of, of items like that, particularly dur during um, the season of, of COVID. One of the other things that we also need to have a, have a look at is um, ensuring that we have the complete contact details of all meeting guests. This would not be an, is, a, an issue where we are meeting online, but where there is going to be a physical meeting, we have to ensure, and, and this would be the responsibility of the tamer, um, to ensure that we have complete contact details for all meeting guests. Um, this may necess necessitate that there be some changes to our meeting times. And the length of meetings um, is something that we would have to give consideration to. And again, this impacts the role and discharge of the function 
of, of tamer. Um, in some cases, uh, depending on where your meeting is held, you may there may be the requirement as well to take temperatures, um, as well as to keep you know that complete log of persons who are attending meeting. And of course, at this time, even where there is meet, where they, there is a possibility to have the meeting, and where you are able to enforce the physical distancing and the hand sanitizing and, and, and wearing of masks and, and, and all that. Um, the, the advice is, you know, no congregating and no communal sharing of, of refreshments at this time. So those are some of the things as you plan for your year um, that will certainly be different as you engage with your, you know, past tamers. Um, because this is uncharted territory. So you'll have to think of ways in which, you know, you still make the meeting as effective and efficient as possible. Um, you still set the appropriate tones, whether they are online or in person, um, but you're mindful of the, of, the, of the season that we are in um, and, and to ensure the health and safety of all lions. So um, we're just going to move into um, uh, a brief exercise. Um, so you're planning your first club meeting as Tamer. Um, and these are some of the things that I wish you to think about. What are the objectives for the meeting? What specific actions will you take as tamer? What are your timelines? Who do you need to liaise with? Who is available to help you? How will you acquire the resources that you need? Are there any risks? And what, what are the main risks? And at the end of your first meeting, what would success look like for you? I'll just give you a few minutes to just think about those things uh, as you plan for your first meeting. What are the objectives of the meeting? What specific actions that you will take? What are your timelines? Who do you need to liaise with? Who is available to help you? Who will, how will you require, sorry, how will you require, uh, sorry, how will you acquire the resources that you need? Are there any risks? And at the end of your first meeting, what would success look like for you? Just give it a little thought and hopefully we'll have some volunteers to share um, their thoughts on their first meeting as, as Tamer. So let's start with an easy one. Anyone willing to just share the, the, the date of their, their first meeting, first meeting that you will have as tamer of your club or whether Lion or Leo? Good afternoon. Good I afternoon. am from Grenada. My name is Leo Terry from the Hi, San Leo Terry. Club. 
Hi. Mm -hmm. Our first meeting will be the Tuesday after our installation. Our installation is on the 4th of July, so our first meeting will be right after that. Right, um, okay. Um, the objective of this meeting, well, given the, um, the pandemic, what mm -hmm. we had planned wouldn't be the same, so we have to go back to the drawing board. Mm -hmm. We um, we are looking into having a paid platform because you know most of the um, virtual sessions are forty minutes or so if it's not paid for. So Correct. we are looking yes. into paying for one. So in case our meeting go beyond an hour and hour and a half, we would not be cut off. So everybody's right. going to be able to make their points, and we will, um, you know, summarize everything instead of have to rush it out because time is going to cut off on us. Right. Well, those are some important observations. Um, as you have a date, um, you recognize that you know what you were thinking of perhaps um, a few months ago um, will not be possible at this time. Um, so you have to change, and and that's a that's another thing that um, the teamers and and presidents, all, all club members really should be mindful of. But the timer has an important role in being a, a, a change agent and helping club members to accept the, you know, the changes that come um, along the way. COVID is certainly one. Um, have and and um, the requirement, for example, to wear masks and all that, you know, um, that will take some um, encouraging of, of some members to do. Um, as well, um, the the format for for being online. Some persons are just um, they're happier when they are around persons. They're more social beings, and so sometimes you feel there is almost a fatigue factor when you are online all the time. It's so impersonal, and you know, as as lions, we are we are serving others and and being together. And, and seeing, having sight of one another is, is an important thing. So it, it is good that you are starting to think about those changes. Any any others that um, persons would wish to share? Anyone? Um, would like to share what success would look like for the very first meeting? Anyone would like to share on what um, resources may be required or who's going to help you? Well, some of the important things that I wanted to, to, to bring out here it would be the need to as to establish along with the the president and other members of the board of directors um, what are we seeking to achieve um, sometimes your first meeting you lay out um, you know the plans for the remainder of the year um, you present in some cases um, specific budgets um, how do you share those online? How, how would everybody be comfortable in sharing online? And if not, how, how do you get around that? Um, who is available to assist? Um, whether it be an online meeting or uh, an in-person meeting, is it that um, you will be liaising, and, and hopefully you, you would be, with the outgoing tamer or, you know, another tamer in the club. Um, what, what resources um, would be helpful for you as you start your first um, meeting? 
and what would success look like? Is it important for you that the meeting starts on time? Is it important for you that everyone, you know, is, is, is reasonably comfortable at the meeting? And I know that's a difficult thing sometimes to wrap your mind around. Um, it's easier when you're in a physical um, environment. Um, but for those persons who are still getting accustomed to the online environment, what perhaps do I need to do bit by bit to encourage uh, um, lions and uh, particularly for lions and um, less so for Leos to be, um, fully engaged in an online meeting? Okay, so in, in summary, I would say that the effective discharge of the duties of the tamer is, is very integral to the club's success. The tamer needs to understand the, the other key roles in the, in the club and board of directors. The tamer needs to be, to be au fait with the goals and objectives of the club and meeting by meeting, function by function, needs to be um, pretty much clued in to what the, the objective and the outcomes ought to be. Um, they need to be clued in as well as to what resources are maybe at their disposal. Um, they need to be um, very mindful as well um, that as you set the tone for the meeting, sometimes, you know, not sometimes, most times your, your first impression is a lasting one. And so you, you want to make sure you get, if not 100% of the things right, you want to score um, a fairly decent uh, uh, score. So you do the things, you do the research, you make contact with those persons who are knowledgeable um, and who can offer advice uh, to, to make the meeting as effective as possible. Uh, remember in all that you do, you are assisting with the achievement of your club's goals. Uh, and by setting the tone um, at club meetings, by being a very good custodian, custodian of the club's property, by assisting with greeting of members, by you are virtually assisting with recruitment. Um, and all of these require uh, skills that says really that you are a competent leader. And, and you have the appropriate management skills. Very often people just think um, the role of the tamer is not important, but do not underestimate it. Do not underestimate the, the, the value that you bring to your, your club's uh, success. And then finally, um, just a few other key, key tips. As, as a tamer, you know, think wisely. Um, what um, what do I have to do? Uh, as you think, is it thoughtful? Is, 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 is what I'm doing helpful? Is it important? Is it necessary? Is it kind? Um, I, I not only need to think, it is important that I act. And as I act, am I acting in a timely manner? Um, we recognize that time is, is the essence for everything. Um, and so the decisions I make, um, am I making them in, 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 a, in a timely manner and in the best interest of the club, in the best interest of members? As Tamer, I will be accountable. Uh, that's one of my main um, functions. Um, I am, of course, custodian. So I'm going to be accountable for those things that, um, for those uh, items of the club that are in my charge. I'll take good care of them. And I'll make myself available because I know that um, uh, for, for several persons within the club, they will be needing to call on me to either access those items from time to time um, during the year. I will always be mindful that whatever I do, you know, I, uh, it is about the, the members of the club. It is uh, about the meetings. It is about how I manage and how I help other persons manage as well. Um, I need always to be mindful that 
being effective is important. Being efficient is important. And, and finally, um, being responsible, being resourceful and helping others to be resourceful. And of course, as you um, go through your year, um, br I, I'll bring someone along with you. Um, let someone into the world of the tamer. Um, they may be a person that you are recruiting. Um, help them to see inside, you know, what it takes to make a, a, a really good um, tamer. And with that, I would, I, I don't know if there are any questions. We can take a, a few questions. If there are no questions, I, I trust that the presentation has been a useful one for you. Um, I, I hope that um, we are all clear um, on the role of the of the tamer, those who will be discharging that function during the year, and those who may be performing other roles. Um, I, I trust that you will feel confident in discharging your role knowing that it is a it's, it's a really important uh, function that you have been ele um, elected to to serve um, and of course best wishes for a really successful year thank you so much okay thank you lion sandra um if again there are no uh, questions from anyone the presentations that we're all doing here with will be shared with the attendees so it will be available so that you can go through it again at this point i would like to ask leo terry to move the vote of thanks thank you Good afternoon, Lions and Leos. First of all, I would like to give God thanks for giving us the opportunity to meet virtually, to learn and grow about our positions in order to better serve and lead in our communities. Thank you, Lion Wendy, for making this meeting possible. Special thanks to Lion Sandra for taking the time off to educate us on the role of Tima. I believe going forward, we can use what we've learned today to help tighten our club structure. Two main points I've gathered today, and I hope everybody will take it back with them, is having a fixed location, but not only having a fixed location, is when um, Lance Sandra pointed out that giving members the opportunity to sit in or dial in. I think this will give the club members a feeling of inclusion and togetherness even if they are present or even if they are online. So the flexibility will be great. Secondly, I think this training will allow us as young professionals to be more observant as tamers to, um, by making a lease, a checklist, making sure the club has all what it needs, treating um, prospective and special invited guests in a manner that they ought to, and for us to be more strat strategic on a whole. So I hope going forward, we put all that we have learned here today in practice. And again, Lance Sandra, on the behalf of all of us, we thank you. Thank you so much, Leo Terry. Thank, thank you so much. And again, thanks to all the persons in the chat room saying thank you to Lance Sandra. Thank you for your feedback. And uh, until tomorrow's training again, have a good night to all. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh. Thank you, Lance. Good night. good night, everyone. Thank good you. Night. So Thank much. you. Good night. Thank, Thank you. you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night.